generally markup is decided based on the base of cost price now this is different thing generally markup what is markup markup is your cost price here and you your intention is to sell here okay then you want this how to decide it is not like a very abrupt way you can decide like you made one pin that is 12 rupees cost and you want to sell at 85 rupees that is not the way that is not the way of the financial calculation because everything will be decided based on the finance financial uh, financial constraint and based on the certain goal random you can't do pricing okay ek pen bana le 10 rupaye ka chalo 100 rupaye bech do aise nahi hota business will never run like this everything have some logic some financial calculation then this markup means how much jump this cost price should go how much jump you can do like this is your 12 rupees this will be okay one of the things you you can put here markup 25 rupees because you want to make because it is a small item you want to make around uh, 30 to 40 percent profit because direct you are selling you are like uh, b2c like uh, you are direct selling to customer then th for 30 to 40 percent you want to make profit you are just putting almost 100 percent higher than cost price afterwards you will offer the discount then minimum profit somewhere it will land where it will be selling price and you will get around 40 percent profit correct then based on this selling uh, cost price you will decide how much jump you should take to make the markup how much jump compared to cost price 100 percent 80 percent depends on the base price also like one item is cost price is 2 lakh rupees then you can't put market price 100 percent more 2 lakh then 4 lakh you will put market price it will become abrupt you will be obsolete in market depends on the, like small things like pen pen is 10 rupees cost price you can put 20 rupees there is not much difference percentage wise it is 100 percent 10 to 20 rupees 100 percent but amount wise it is not much difference and nobody will able to exactly differentiate this is 10 rupees pen or this is 20 rupees pen why it is 20 rupees why it is not 20 rupees because that much mechanism we don't have but any technical item like 2 lakh rupees cost we are putting 4 lakh then automatically just by seeing itself based on your uh, item or based on uh, based on your technology you will able to decide this is this may be 2 lakh around 2 lakh 2 lakh 2.5 lakh but how it can be 4 lakh then depends on so many criteria this costing and markup will be decided but markup will be decided one of the base will be there to decide it is cost price then markup will be mark price minus cost price and cost price plus markup will be equal to marked price then cost price plus percentage markup on cost price already i told 100 percent 80 percent whatever that is equal to mark price then this pictographic way we can understand this is at the top this is your marked price this is your cost price this you have taken markup as percentage of cost price just suppose this pen was cost price 12 rupees you marked at 25 rupees of approximately you have taken 100 percent marking now discount you have offered 40 percent discount 40 percent discount means it will reduce to 10 rupees further selling price will equal to 15 rupees uh, still you will make the profit profit how much 3 rupees out of 12 3 out of 4 1 by 4 means you can say 25 percent okay this is the this is the cost price first will jump will put the markup as 100 percent then we'll offer the discount 40 percent it will come to the actual selling price after the, you once you are selling uh, selling at 15 rupees uh, still you are able to make 25 percent profit means 3 rupees 15 minus 12 that is 3 out of 12 that is 1 by 4 is 25 